I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. All righty, we have had a little bit of problems uh, of late, so I apologize. First of all, I apologize for the uh, Monday night cruise in not being up as soon as it uh, regularly would be, but uh, there had been about three issues that happened that had kind of set everything back. Um, the first is a catastrophic failure of a camera which has uh, locked and lost <laughs> uh, a good portion of the video that I shot to and from the, uh, the Monday night show. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post up what I was able to on my uh, other cameras, the still camera and the uh, movie camera, and uh, get that all out to you. Uh, another thing is uh, my father had, was uh, admitted for... Um, some intestinal problems and now he's having to have surgery so that took a day and a half and I've got to go back out later this evening and try and take care of that and everything and the uh, third thing I'm reluctant to talk about because of everybody pointing fingers and blame and all that stuff and uh, uh, I'll do that after we uh, look at the uh, look at the uh, pictures that I was able to save and post so um, here they are. Enjoy these. All righty. We are out here. Uh, new Carlisle cruise in Monday night. Labor Day weekend. We're going to uh, get around. We're going to take a pictures and uh, see, what, uh, see what we can find. Let's get going.
Alrighty, uh, really good. I really appreciate uh, everybody that uh, came out to the show. It was an awesome show. Everything was uh, excellent. A lot more people, a lot more cars. Um, all of you that want the one-on-one, -on -one, make sure you contact me at the bt 57 go for rider at gmail.com and we'll set up a time, get a thing done before the winter comes in with this weather that we're having being driven in by uh, all the storms down south and everything and all the problems that they're having is just horrendous. Um, it, it's The weather's down a little bit so uh, contact me and we'll do that. The uh, last thing I wanted to talk about um, was as I was heading out of the show uh, Monday night uh, going through town, leaving New Carlisle, I uh, passed one of my uh, good buddies. He was uh, out in front of the newspaper office, uh, Andy Grimm. Uh, I've known Andy for a long, long, long time. <laughs> when it, the saying goes, when Andy was in short pants, um, through all of his trials and tribulations of growing up and uh, into a very fine young individual, uh, working as hard as he does, supporting the wife and his children. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, nobody works harder than him. Nobody's on the go more than him. And uh, Andy and the situation and everything. I just want to let you know that you know I, um, that everybody here, mom, and everybody, uh, we're all thinking about you and wishing you the best. And you guys, if, if you can, uh, I know it's going to be a mess for Andy. If you can, if there's anything you can give, you can probably contact Dale, his dad, Dale Grimm, at the newspaper, and I'm sure there has already been uh, some accounts set up for him and everything. Uh, if you can, give what you can, do what you can, because he's going to have a long road. And uh, as far as anything else into the situation, I'm going to refrain from doing any of that because it uh, all still needs to be investigated and gone through. But uh, I know Andy and uh, the first things out of his mouth was he didn't want to have anybody else suffer for what happened. Uh, and uh, that, that to me just speaks of the, the young man that he is. And uh, we just need to take care of him and do what we can. So I'm going to finish things up and get in there and uh, we'll keep going along. So y'all take care of each other. It's all we can do right now. See ya. You gotta be kidding me!